I think a lot of people in general struggle like with why I have this channel, like why I'm into AI overall, what my overall goals are with it, etc. I get 100% that it is a very common like tactic and goal within uh, like YouTube and especially combining that with marketing to do something where you're like, uh, I, you know, like I'm independent and not invested in something and then like invest in like my course or this particular part of the industry that I'm invested in, etc. Right. Like uh, to me, like that is my goal is the exact opposite of that. Like I never want to fall into that like at all, period. Uh, and then so I'm very like conscious of that first and foremost i've gotten like a, i'd say like um so like three years now i've you know kind of like been like on my own as a corporate entity <laughs> and and uh, i haven't starved to death in three years so i'm doing i think something right within that and then uh kind of my overall approach from the beginning was to make sure that I'm not investing in a singular portion of the technology, right? Like I didn't want to just go down a rabbit hole. Like I'm only the word vectorization guy. I'm only the like uh, HDC guy. I'm only the swarm algorithm guy. Like I didn't want to ever be in any of those uh, like has uh, very specifically. And then so like part of that and a large part of that is I haven't wanted to invest in a specific path. And I get I contacted like a lot, like, um, you know, like I, I have like, um, I don't know, some very unique project that uh, I want you to work on very specifically. And then we're going to patent it afterwards. And then here's like some NDAs that I want you to sign. Like the second that that happens honestly like I, I turn down i mean every single deal that, that happens that way like that's just how i approach it overall like um i, I like uh I, like i mean again i've been at this like three years right and i haven't starved to death so i like i, I make money <laughs> but my approach is to not make money like to 100 percent separate my scientific research from making money the two are 100 percent divorced to me overall the scientific research is a hobby the uh my businesses and and what i do for businesses is how i make money and the, to me they're very different avenues like i like a majority of my money flat out comes from entertainment like entertainment like uh to like uh toys like the, like those like types of things right like 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 the, those areas like um like, like consumer products and what entertains you is like what uh, I make my money off of <laughs> very simplistically. Uh, what, uh, like if you're bored, I, like that is okay. That's where I want to try to make my money overall. Right. Um, it, like if you are wanting to make a scientific breakthrough, uh, like I want to work with you as a hobby and then I want to open source all of it. <laughs> like that's, that's uh, like my approach and my goal. And then I don't want to like ever be like, I'm not, ever going to want to like commit to something specifically within that right and then like uh, to me what drives me within this is so i've had this notebook here up right like why are you like this and then like uh, uh this is what has like, driven me within uh a research overall from the beginning right and then so this is uh to me like a uh, a simple setup. So I have like a bin capacity problem where I'm trying to solve it via swarm algorithms. And then like I beef up the, I end up like beefing up the swarm algorithm quite significantly, swarm algorithms and genetic algorithms. Uh, and then the goal is, is so I have a bin capacity of 10 and then I have different item units. And then these different item units, I know from double checking and quadruple checking the math that they uh, should add up to a optimal score of six. <laughs> but this is like six bins required, right? Because uh, six bins, each bin having a capacity of 10. And then when you combine these, you can optimally combine them with, uh, in six bins. Uh, with the next optimal solution being seven bins. And then so that's what is crucial within this and, and what uh, 
brings me back over and over and over again. Like, why does it come at seven bins? Like, why are you like this? That's what I don't understand overall about what is going on here, right? Uh, the question that people always ask is, is, is like, is this learning? Is it not? Is it intelligence? Is it not? Uh, and uh, I mean, the fact that it's coming up with seven instead of six comes up with like a lot of, uh, like a lot of questions within that, right? And then I can't get it to go to six. <laughs> but uh, the fact is, is that like, just like a slot machine it's going to seven like it's going to the uh second from the most optimal solution and it just gets stuck there and then i can't ever get it to get past that it, like if if i was translating this to accuracy this would be like we call it like 85 to 88 percent accuracy and it's just stuck right uh and then i i even include my swarm queen optimization within this and then so the swarm queen is doing like all different types of stuff to this she's like mutate reset explore and she has different options to to set and go through and then still it's the same thing it's just su stuck at seven. Uh, and then even in this one, I reduced one of the values. Like I take this down like uh, 0.5 just to make 100% sure, give it like, a little bit more leeway. Uh, and then I also build it out. Like you can see here, like the bins and then so you can see very clearly, right? So it's, it's this, this bin maxes out 9.99, 9.57, 9.32, 9.26. .9 but then it doesn't like, like uh, here, like, I don't know why it doesn't max this out. Like it could max this out a lot better, like a whole lot better. Uh, there's, I mean, a few different ways that you could, like, I, just looking at this, like, you could move that 2.82 and that 1.65, and that fixes this whole entire thing, right? Like, to me, like, just looking at this from base um, and jump, like, 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 there's a, like, a, a, like few tweaks that you could make to to like make this the 100% optimal solution, but it doesn't do it, but it gets to the solution right before it, right? So it's not random guessing random guessing would be like 10 percent accuracy literally because this isn't a like um uh multiple choice or a true false problem right true false would be like 50 50 accuracy and then so like this is putting like like a a, a hard problem to get to um 100 accuracy if you were just like random if you threw a bunch of monkeys on a typewriter right they would never be able to get to uh even like let's call it like 85 percent accuracy but then so then like how is it able to get to 85 percent accuracy and then why does it just get stuck there like it's like i am never going to leave 85 percent accuracy but i'm going to be 85 percent accurate like 100 percent of the time like why what is the fundamental <laughs> mechanics and and underlying mechanics within that right that is what intrigues me within all of this overall uh, and i don't claim to know the scientific answer within that right i think that's another thing like i'm not trying to like propose any sort of hypothesis like the last thing that i want to do is ever propose like if i ever crack this to the point where i'm like uh i have like i think that i am ready and and i could show you and showcase to you like a um uh a theory of everything like here's the theory of everything i i wouldn't do it <laughs> like I, I would not showcase it to you plain and simple I, I would like keep it to myself <laughs> like uh i would not ever want to uh try to uh put that into the world just like flat out like i wouldn't want to deal with like the the like uh people like just like uh at the backlash from it right like i i like they, i don't know there's just like uh it's interesting to me, like, if you just, like, even on, like, a hobby basis, you have, like, you know, like, I'm going to play around with, like, number theory, or, like, I'm going to, uh, like, I'm interested in space and science, and then all of a sudden, like, people have, like, it's, and it's a U.S. problem to me, especially, like, a very, like, derogatory um like, uh, they can treat that in very derogatory ways, like for like, uh, whatever reason, like it's, it's everyone thinks that everyone has their own agenda. Right. And then, so if you, uh, are like going off into those things, you have to have your own agenda. Like, and then that's like, I, again, going back to like why I do all this, like, I think people have a very hard time understanding. I don't have an underlying agenda within, uh, all of this overall right like that's like like my goal is not like some like overarching thing where i'm going to build out like some like secret framework and then i'm going to, to like you know like rule the world with my uh my framework and my models i don't care like 
if you don't like my models, okay. If you don't like my research, okay. Like I'm not putting it out like again for like to please 100% of the world. Like I, I am very much aware of the concept that you can't please 100% of the people 100% of the time. And I never try to do that. Like if, if, uh, I, and like, if I rub you the wrong way for whatever reason that is, that's fine. I rub you the wrong way. Like I, I acknowledge that. Let's move on and like just you know go your separate ways in life within that. And that's just how life works overall. I acknowledge those things overall. I don't have larger goals within this. I don't have. Um, let me try to like um, revolutionize something. If you try to come at me with like, I want to patent off or like, uh, I want you to like do something that is going to essentially like at the end of the day, make it, um, less hobby like for me and then put an impediment to my enjoyment to doing this overall, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> like that's like the bottom line within this, right? Like I look at it, I mean, like Magnus Carlsen's a perfect example, right? Like Magnus Carlsen, like flat out, you look at him in interviews and he will flat out tell you like, I, I only play chess as a hobby. Like he takes a lot of time off from chess games, right? Like, and, and from tournaments, things like that. It's like, you know, it's a hobby to me. Like the second that it feels like work, I'm done. I'm, I don't want to do it. I understand that mindset one bajillion percent. That's exactly how I feel overall about uh, deep scientific research. Again, my money is very specifically not tied to the deep scientific research. Like, like that is very, very purposeful to me on all levels, and that will always be the case. Like, <laughs> and and the bottom line within that, like, I think people have a very deep misunderstanding of how valuable um, scientific concepts are as a breakthrough. Like, like I mean, flat out, like nobody gives a rip. <laughs> like, uh, is the bottom line as far as economic, like economically, right? They're like, okay, that's a cool pat on the back. You could go publish a research paper based off of it. Uh, now go figure out some way to commercialize that and then turn it into a product. And then we could actually talk, right? That's like whatever, like no one cares. Like, like um, uh, uh, it will produce unlimited energy. Like, okay. Like, uh, like what does that mean as far as in terms of commercial value? <laughs> like, like um, that's, you know, what the, the bottom line, but like bottom line perspective in terms of anything is, uh, and then, so like, like, you know, just like, uh, it, it's this, you know, revolution, like, like, okay. Like it, it doesn't like, there's no, unless you can point to the direct commercial application of it, the business world doesn't care. And like, uh, so like you don't see PhDs and scientists like rolling around and Rolls Royces, like just because they invented stuff <laughs> overall, right? Like that's not, uh, where people, overall make their money from within these things like i can't i like that overall enough and then so to me like why would i want to, uh, like to sell out the enjoyment the hobby aspect the uh overall like all of the benefits that i get from sticking to my word within this and like being like uh, i'm not directly invested in the technology to um sell out for an area that like i don't think is <laughs> going to make me rich in any aspect uh way shape or form whatsoever again like i'm very happy with the like uh, areas and aspects that are outside of like a pure uh, AI overall, like, and that are like, actually like, you know, commercial ventures and avenues that are very specifically, like, again, like I like to play in the entertainment space. Every single one that I've said yes to is, is, uh, in uh, that I've ever said yes to has been in that, that space and playground. Like I, I, my, uh, a lot of my background coming up was like sales and engineer sales and marketing engineering support right and then like uh, executive type of roles from there and then consulting type of roles but i'm very uh i bury it a lot but i mean you like if you have 10 years of ancillary marketing experience. And then like a lot of that is working for, let's say like, you know, uh, kind of like mad men's I'm literally like style, uh, like agencies and marketing agencies that are like, you know, like flat out, like New York mad men style based marketing agencies. You like, even though you're on the technical side of it and, and you're all you're doing is the tech end, it's impossible for you to just sit in rooms all day and like not absorb any of that whatsoever. Right. <laughs> and, and then it, it just, uh, kind of comes with like experience and territory overall within these things. And that's kind of um, how I look at it and, and frame these things overall. Right. I, and, and um, to me, it's uh, 
I like that distinction. That distinction will always stay overall. If if you like people reach out and they like, and, and I do get, I get hit up a lot too. <laughs> like, and, and, and my time is, you know, becoming like uh, more and more of a resource. I have two kids. I like playing with my kids. Uh, I don't always have time to like reach back out to anyone. Uh, and then, but bottom line, like if you're reaching out to me with an idea and it's like, why is this guy like not reaching back out to me? Like 99% it's, it, it's um, you're like, whatever it is that you're trying to pitch me, you're trying to turn my hobby into a business. And I don't like, I don't want that period. Like take my idea and do it. Like if, like, if you think that you can make millions off of anything that I open source and, and that I'm putting out, like do, please do it. Like, if you think you can cure cancer with like one of my models, but go do it. Like, like whatever, like, uh, please. And then like, just, just let me know, like, that'd be awesome. <laughs> that's all I ask for within that. Right. Um, and, and then that's my overall goal within this. Um, and then, so hopefully that is pretty crystal clear. Uh, if you like this type of content, please like subscribe. Thank you very much.